It's a fuzzy little underworld where people of all ages dress up in animal costumes and socialize. Coloradan furs tend to be very gentle, very uh, get together in a park and hang out. But now the arrest of a self-proclaimed furry accused of sexually assaulting a young boy is raising serious questions about what this strange but expanding club is actually all about. Good evening, I'm Leland Vittert in tonight for Ron. And I'm Libby Weaver. Turns out there are a lot of furries here in Denver. They meet on the internet, they meet in person, and sometimes those meetings get sexual. Police say 45-year-old Raquel Michaels is one of the people who gets a little hot and bothered by all the fur. An arrest affidavit states she thought it was, quote, ironic that the victim's mother saw her as a role model for her son when the whole time she was having sex with the teen. The two met at a gathering a lot like this, with both victim and suspect dressed up in costume. Investigative reporter Julie Hayden joins us now. And Julie, I'm not sure I even want to know, but I'm going to ask you anyway. What is this furry lifestyle all about? Well, you know, Libby, apparently Denver has one of the largest furry populations in the country. One guy, fam yeah, one guy familiar with the scene said there's many as 6,000 people in the Denver area, but he wanted to emphasize it is a social get-together, he says, not sexual at all. It's not sexual in, in its nature. It's, it's just like any other meetup common interest group. Most of Brandon DeVito's friends are furs. He admits it's weird, but says don't blame a furry lifestyle for this woman's alleged sexual assault of a teenage boy. That specific dynamic has been going on for a, for decades. The Fort Collins mom, Raquel Mickles, met the 16-year-old through a common interest in fur gatherings. They're people who like to dress like animals and call themselves furries. The initial tip apparently came from her husband, who was upset with her growing interest in the furry lifestyle. According to the police affidavit, she acted like the teen's role model, but an informant claims she was having sex with the boy the whole time. Since the birth of the internet, there have been people who sit in front of it, find a theme that's in common with a group, and target it. And it, it's sick and it's sad. <laughs> This is last year's Rocky Mountain FurCon, a furry convention in downtown Denver. DeVito says it's one of the largest in the country. It is a group of people who feel they don't fit in with the norm, um, so they express themselves in a group mentality through using fur as a medium. They adopt an animal persona and wear fur suits. It's harmless. They're so harmless. It's, it's such a good-natured group of people. Strange? Yes. But he says that's all in the eye of the beholder. It's no weirder than a 50-year-old man putting on a Klingon costume. You know, there's, there's, it's, it's an equal level of strange. Now, you know, Libby, they do have, they have this convention every year in Denver. And as you said, it's one of the largest in the nation. It's coming up next month in August at a downtown Denver hotel. We're told they're expecting several thousand furries to show up at this. So they think this whole thing is just an isolated incident. Yeah, you know, he made a good point. He said, you know, people, uh, tragically, adults have been sexually assaulting children. They meet over the Internet for decades since it came about. He said not connected at all. He said they're, for the most part, just harmless, gentle people. You know, this is just an unfortunate, obviously tragic situation. Okay, Julie, thanks. Thanks.